I, I choose for, the, for this exhibition, I choose the title uh, Owls Turn the Entire Head to Change Views, not really for a particular reason. I, I have also o always been interested in the owl because it's a, it's a very enigmatic figure. Most of my works, is, it's very important where you stand to look at them. So if you change uh, the position of how you look at the work, it, it can also change uh, yeah, let's say metaphorically, you know, and because we know that the owl, you know, when he, he, he has to look on the other side, he has to move all his head to the, you know, to the other side, then, you know, I thought it, maybe this, this figure was appropriate for the show. The way I see things, the way I see, I see artist engagement, if you like, it's very different from politics. And I, maybe I know that uh, artists cannot really change society. I think most of, the, most of my work, it deals with the question, if I'm here in the society, I mean, and if, if I go, if I step out of this, of this space where I, where I am, and I go to the other space, how will it change, you know? Everybody should ask himself, what can I do for society, and what can society do for me, and how can, change it a little bit with, with my forces. The figure of Yuri Gagarin, it was the first man that went into space and he did you know, the, the orbit uh, with his spaceship in 108 minutes. And um, he, was, uh, he came from very humble, humble family. Uh, I mean, humble situation, but he was kind of intelligent and they, they, they choose him. But the reason why they choose him was not because he was more intelligent than the others. There were actually three reasons uh, why they choose it. Because he came from humble family and the president at the time also came from humble, uh, humble um, situation. So he wanted to highlight you know, to, the, to the Russian people that even if you are not if you are not born, you know, in a, in a kind of um, high family or aristocratic family, you can get there. This was the first reason. And the second reason uh, was um, that he was very small and in, in the spaceship where he was, you know, propelled into space was a very, very uh, small spaceship. This is the second reason. And the third reason, you will never believe it, is because he had a wonderful smile. So these people uh, from the, they thought, if this guy is coming back, because they, they were not sure if he was coming back, he, he, he would be the perfect thing you know, for propaganda. That's how, actually how it happened. Uh, the other side uh, that maybe we can uh, have a look after is, um, is a, is a map of the world, and it's a very simple structure of, of the world that I put with, uh, with pencil. And then you have uh, uh, six phases, and th th these six phases were actually the phases of the spaceship. So it's, it started uh, 100 kilometers from, from, from Moscow, you know, on the 12th April 1961. This particular piece was uh, inspired by me by, um, by one of the books of, of Dostoevsky that I have read the most, you know, in different languages. Uh, I, I'm very lucky enough that, you know, I was exposed to different languages, you know, German, uh, Italian, um, English and now French. The book is Crime and Punishment by Dost uh, Fyodor Dostoevsky. And, um, I mean, I'm not going to explain you the book because probably you have you have read it all. It's very it's very well known. But in the in the book, there is a, a very particular moment that for me is a turning point in the book. I don't know if if for other people it's the, it's a turning point, but for me, it's a turning point. So as you probably know, it's a story of a, of a very poor student that doesn't have uh, any money anymore to go on. So the only thing that he has is a, is a watch that his father left him. Uh, and so he, 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 he saw that a, a lady, a pound broker, a pound broker uh, is, is a place where you put, you go, you give your watch, your ring or whatever, they give you some money. And if you don't give the money back in, let's say one month, they, they will keep the, the, the whole thing. So 
he had some some thought about it about this lady and uh, he thought that uh, she is a is a very bad person because she's making money out of the misery of other people so he thought okay this 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 person has no reason to live and i'm young uh, i i'm intelligent and i i can go on and i can change society if i can go on with my study so he decided to kill her then um, he, he goes to the, to the house of this lady, it's on the fourth floor, it's important to know that. It's on the fourth floor and uh, he, he gives the, the watch and she goes in the, in the other room to take the money. He goes in the other room and he kills her with an axe. So then, you know, he's there with, with all this bloody mess uh, and, he, and he, he hears that somebody's coming. So it's the sister of this lady. So he has to kill also this, this person. Finally, he's like in trance with all blood all over, you know, on the, on the wall and everything. And he hears, oh my God. And he actually hears that somebody else is coming up the stairs. So he has to go out. He said, oh my God, what have I done? I have to go out. So, and there is this specific moment when, this, when, when he wanted to go out to escape, let's say to escape his responsibility, but he, he hears this kind of guy coming in, uh, this person. He doesn't know if he's a lady or, or a man, but he, he wants to go out, but he can't go out because if he would go out of the door, the, the other one would see. So he locked the door. And there is this specific moment when this two people are on on other side of the door he knows that the other one is here but the other uh, uh, one doesn't know that the other one is here this is a kind of uh, there is a, very, a certain kind of strange symmetry and dissymmetry so i was interested in that moment because for me this would be the turning point of the of the novel because if he would open the door at that specific moment everything could change he said okay it was me. I did it. I, I, I'm poor. I wanted to live. I, I know maybe it, I, it, it was not right to do it, but, but because he doesn't do that, the all, all uh, 970 pages you know, enrolled, and you probably know what happened. So to make it really short, what I, what I do, did is to take the specific page where this specific action occurred, I cut it, I, no, I transcribe it with a pencil, so it's not a photocopy of the book, it's not even the book itself, but it's a, a transcription, this was very important for me, it's a transcription of the, of the typeface of the book, uh, with the text of course, and then, you know, from the very beginning, I thought, I, I, I want to do it. You know, it took three, four days to do it, very min minutiously. I cut it in two, and one part, I tried to burn it three times. People ask me, why three times? I don't know, I just like the number. And if, if it, was, it was really burnt, and if you don't have, wouldn't see anything anymore, it wouldn't make any problem for me. I would try to, to take the pieces, the, the, the fragments, the burnt fragments, and, uh, and, and put it in the, you know, on, on, on a paper. I was, let's say, lucky enough to have this, so you can still see some of the text. And the other half, which was left untouched, is on the other side of the wall. So, you know, I would like that you know, people that look at this object, they, they look at this object only for maybe two minutes, and then they forgot about it, you know? And they, and they see maybe the relation between you know, the, the wood structure and the, and the copper and the glass, which is, 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 uh, is a glass which is uh, a 145 by 145. It's, uh, it's polished on three sides, but not on one, so it's a little bit dangerous. All of these elements are important to epidermically understand the piece. Um, I came here to Paris uh, only for five months with, uh, with a grant at the Cité des Arts, and for uh, crazy reasons I stayed, and uh, I mean, I have met a lot of people, I'm very happy to be some, in some sense, in some way, a part of this uh, group. I, I find it very exciting here. Um, maybe it's not really uh, easy, but it's never easy. So, and I'm very, 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 very grateful to, to the director 
of this institution that, uh, that is giving me this fantastic opportunity to show a, li a little bit more of my work and maybe to, to be able to, yeah, to talk to people about uh, uh, what my practice, what my dreams or whatever is through the works.